Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Beardlib Editor tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how cameras work. Um, this one's going to be pretty short, I think. I say that, but uh, who knows, maybe that length of the video is 20 minutes long and I am dumb. <coughs> so cameras are pretty simple. I think I have all of this set up correctly, uh, but here we go. I'm going to test it out. So I have two cameras here. I have security camera two and security camera one. Uh, and then I have the security console here. Uh, I should probably save and restart. So those are the three units. The security console um, has its own code to pretty much check if there's um, access cameras on the map. Access cameras allow you to see through the security console, and you can actually change the limit and where it's looking at. Um, one thing I noticed, I actually messed this up a little bit, because access camera, the security camera, sorry, is dependent on the access camera rotation. So if I were to access this camera right now, I'd be looking that way, right? I don't want to do that, so I'm going to change it so it faces this way. Just an example, I'm going to keep this one facing this way, just to show you that. Um, so the security camera does that by default. It does have a sequence manager, so you can make it hide, enable, all that sort of stuff. Then there is the security camera. So the security camera uh, is a similar thing, but it's based on the AI seeing you, right? So you just go in, select the unit, hit AI enabled, um, you can change some settings right here. I usually just keep it default. There's no reason to mess with it, but you can mess with it if you want. Um, so there's that. And then, in order to disable it, you just execute one that has AI enabled false. Just that simple. What I have over here is a camera operator and a camera trigger. So, how this works. The camera operator pretty much can just destroy a camera. Uh, I don't think this is used a lot in default overkill maps, but one example would be if you move from one location to another location and you can't access the first location again, just like in uh, Beneath the Mountain, except if that was stealth. Anyways, uh, the access camera could be so that when everybody's upstairs, um, you just destroy all the cameras downstairs because those aren't useful anymore, right? Um, so that's one way to do that, is you just destroy all the cameras, like that. Um, there's also this access camera trigger, so you can make things happen when you look at the camera itself. Uh, just to show you what all this looks like. There is the cameras over here. So as you can see, I stand in front of this camera. Nothing happens. I stand in front of this camera. I think Whisper State isn't on. Whisper State. Enabled. Is it looking this way? Which way is it looking? Oh, I didn't execute the damn thing. <laughs> I didn't execute it. Duh. There you go. And you can see it did, it does allow you to change the, where it's looking. I'm going to try that one more time. This time without getting instantly spotted. So I just forgot to hit whisper, or no, execute. So... I didn't notice this whenever I mess with uh, stuff, but yes, if you do execute this, it'll look in the direction that it's supposed to. Interesting. So, um, just to showcase how this access camera trigger works, like an access camera. Camera one, look around, and camera two. Just to show you, 
indeed this um that's camera yeah this, so there you go this is looking they're both looking this way because i didn't change the rotation i forgot to save it what if i make it look this way and this way ah damn it <laughs> if you if you're in the camera itself and then you go into the editor, uh, you can't get out. So let me just showcase that again. Go this way and this way. So I'm looking this way and I'm looking at the building. As you can see, it's based off of. I did it again, but whatever based off of uh, that so I did have it so uh, when you access camera one it disables the AI I think that should be pretty self-explanatory um, but if I destroy the camera what if I move this away I don't know I can't get out of it Oh yeah, it should be self-explanatory. If you kill the camera off, like if the camera gets shot, um, it'll automatically remove it from this. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is just used if you want to remove the camera from the list. Uh, it's usually done from randomization of cameras, that sort of stuff, or like I said, going into different areas. So that's the very quick uh, tutorial. It's only five, seven minutes. Five to seven minutes uh, on how to use cameras.